Hey everyone, this is Neil and Kyle of the Barnhill Golf Institute. Today we are at Edwin Watts Golf Shops located off of Turkey Lake Road in Orlando, Florida. And we're in the testing center for the TaylorMade yes, product. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And we have got a very awesome product test we're going to do today on the, uh, the new P790 titanium TaylorMade iron. We do. And I tell you what, it hadn't been out maybe five weeks. I happened to see a kid play with it in regionals in a high school tournament. Just phenomenal the launch angle this thing hit kid absolutely loved the solidness of the hit because that's the performance on this is supposed to be very forgiving yeah and i mean what did you say when you saw this head you could you, it's what? it's you know you can see so much technology within this head with the tungsten and waiting which i know you're going to talk about mm -hmm. but it, it's it's really really pretty i mean it's we, gorgeous we both thought it was going to be this big head yeah you know, no it's it's, it's beautiful it's got a pretty thin line on the top mm -hmm. of it. it's not like a blade, but I mean, it's a, definitely, as a player, I mean, I could play this all day. Oh, it's yeah. It's great. Now, here's the cool part. All right, take that out. Feel My that. My goodness. That's the tungsten weighting. The, the head's made of titanium. So, which one's heavier, Kyle? The head or the tungsten weight? The weighting? tungsten weight, <laughs> it is insane. I can't imagine this, how high the launch angle we're going to get out of something like well, this. Well, we just talked to the TaylorMade yep. sales rep, and he <laughs> said that's the idea. You know, you get the distance, but the launch angle goes up but the spin goes down, but that's the beauty of it. And mm -hmm. uh, we asked him too, like, what, what player would this be, mid to high? And he, he honestly answered, hey, it could be, you know, he's had scratch players, three mm -hmm. handicap players, up to, you know, 25 handicaps. So mm -hmm. it really it hits all ranges. So, I mean, if it's forgiving as a player, and I'm hitting a five or six, I like forgiving. Yes. So <laughs> Not everybody hits it in the center all the time, and why not use the technology that's available to you? So, How are we going to do testing today, Neil? We're both going to hit five shots on the 7 iron. It is 28.5 degrees aloft, yep. and we're going to see what our data you know, gives us, the yardage, the ball spin, all that launch yep. angle, and we'll go over that after we hit. All right, and make sure to like and subscribe. And, you know, the channel's been doing so well lately, and we cannot thank you guys enough for all the amazing support you've given us. So let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's go. All right, we're going to hit five shots. I'm mm -hmm. going to hit my first shot, talk about it, and you'll see it. And I tell you what, this is the same shaft I didn't mention that I play in my club. So it's the Project X 6.5. Yep. So. yep, the same one I play in mine. So let's see how it goes. Yep. Well, I hit All right. really good. That How'd felt, that feel? felt really good. I might drew it just a hair, but man, it felt really good you did draw it and you are one a little long yeah so that's like wow what wow did that carry? now that carried probably we'll let the look at the data here in a second 175 175 so carry it's about 10 yards further than 10 yeah. to 10 yards yeah. that's a that's a great Don't swing all right, all right let's hit four more and see how the data looks All right, Kyle, let's see you hit the seven iron. I tell you what, no pressure, nothing, but my, my goodness, one, my one pretty amazing. I think still smoking. My goodness, you hit that really well. So I, I'm a little nervous right now. So uh, well, have fun right, with it. All right, I will. Okay. Well, that was oh my gosh. Wow. Well, that thing's yeah. still flying. My goodness. All right, how'd it feel? That felt amazing. Right, it's a little cut, but I, it's oh, a wow. Little, oh. So one, what, one some seventy eight. We'll we'll see the yeah one seventy six carry. Felt good. And that, I didn't pushed it? that. I mean, I don't hit the draw like you do. My mm, goodness, that felt good. That was solid. That felt amazing. Yeah, it was good. All right. Well, let's uh, let's hit four more and try uh, oh, prevent look. me from buying these. <laughs>
All right, Kyle, I think uh, me and you both would agree that was amazing. That was, I mean... <laughs> That's just incredible how solid that club was. I mean, it just was really solid. I mean, hitting it, you know, if you middle it, it just goes. But the, the nice thing that I noticed is the consistency. I didn't hit it in the center every single mm -hmm. time, but the, the carry was very, very consistent. My yeah, dispersion. Yeah, so one of yours, let's talk about your data mm -hmm. first. I know you hit the first one, I think it was at 176. Yeah, 176 carry. But then you carry. hit the next one, it went down and launched because you hit it thin, and it still went 175. Yeah, it so was that's, very consistent. Talk about your launch angle because that's – what was your average So launch? my l average launch angle was 20.4, um, and that was a very tight dispersion. I went from 19.8, yep, to 21, so Which, it was very consistent. From a launch angle standpoint, we want that in between 17 to 21, so that's the launch angle going so, up. That was now, great. here's the other important factor we need to know is descent angle. When that's when it's coming exactly. down. Exactly, okay, and so that was, my average was 50.5. We want it over 45, so that way when it's coming down, mm -hmm. it's going to stop. Exactly. So we're in good range there. Exactly, and I still had pretty good spin with it. I mean, yeah. I had about average 5,500 RPM spin, but so it's a little bit down, but that descent well, angle. No, it's th that the spin has to come down, down to get to that go, yardage. Gotcha, I mean, we gotcha. talked to the TaylorMade guys, and that's kind of the R&D with that. Gotcha. It felt good. <laughs> How'd your data look? All right, so I had a couple. I had one that was really long, but I tell you what, I'm gonna be honest. I, I was having such a good time that I was. I was like, this. Is, I really went after. Yeah, it. you went after. <laughs> I, really, that. Was just, you went I after was that. having fun. It was a little harder than I would do on the mm -hmm. golf course, but that was a blast. So I had 178 average. Again, my um, I hit one that was thin. I think it was 171, and then my couple I really mm -hmm. liked was 176, 180. That would probably be 10 to 12 yards longer than my current iron. Yeah. And I just tell you what, it's very. I just like the look, the feel of it was incredible. And, and, and again, we'll we'll show it on the on the footage here. But that I like a thin top line. But that it's is not so, that thin. It's but it not looks that, good. But it looks good. There's it no sits offset. behind the ball really well. There is no offset. Not, That's just a good looking club. Yeah. So back to my data here. I was at twenty one point three mm -hmm. on the launch angle, which is in range. Yep. So that was good. And then my uh, descent angle was fifty one. So again, both me and Kyle both had. Yeah. The, the numbers here, that's what's cool about testing and using someone the GC quad is. And I tell you, know, you what, if they come out, someone comes out and tests this, well, they might be walking away with a set of clubs. But make sure to come out to an Edwin Watts and really get <laughs> fitted and, and find your right fit. Because, again, that's the only reason why we know this is go, are so well. Don't take our word for it. Come out to a place and really test them out. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, there's so many products. There's a lot of great products mm -hmm. out there. Take your time with it. Good thing about Edwin Watts, what I love about this store here is they don't pressure you into just getting it after one time. They know how hard golf is. Yep. You know, there's a lot of come out two, three, four times, hit the clubs, and then make a, you know, a good, you know, honest Educated say, purchase. A, a, yeah. Educated purchase. So, yep. And you don't feel pressured. So that's what I'm trying to say here. So Exactly. Um, I tell you what, that was a lot of fun, Kyle. Hope you all enjoyed it at home. If you all have any comments or feedback, please let us know. We'd be glad to answer it. So continue watching our channel as it grows, and continue watching BarnhillGolf.com.